Hi, I'm Father Anthony Gramlich of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Welcome to Journey Through Lent. During this holy penitential season, join me as I answer some of the questions you may have and perhaps learn how to make your own observance of Lent more fruitful and spiritually rewarding. Can you believe it? Lent is coming to a close. Sunday is Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week, and the season of Lent officially concludes with the beginning of the Paschal Triduum, the Mass of the Lord's Supper on Holy Thursday. Holy Week is an extraordinary journey for Christians. We live the steep descent from the high of Palm Sunday, of Christ's triumphant entrance into Jerusalem, to the low of Good Friday, when Christ is hoisted high on the cross. We live the strange, silent waiting while he's in the tomb and are surprised on Easter by the shock of light that comes with the resurrection, with the missing body, with the appearances of our Lord to his disciples. During Holy Week, we once again encounter the very center of all of human history, the moment when God redeems us, all of us and everything. This is the week unlike any other week. This is the time of our salvation, represented to us across time and space, made present again and again at every Mass. Yes, but in a special way at this time of feasts and fasts and liturgical days unlike any others. Indeed, the fount and source of all the others. St. Paul tells us this saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, Of these, I am the foremost. All the rest of salvation history, every book of the Bible, and every moment of time from creation on to the life of Christ, everything was aimed at these days, at this week. Jesus Christ was born to die, and so he knew that he could not avoid or avert this holy week. He knew that his divine will, the will of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, was set on this week, and so he went to Jerusalem. He wrote in, as the son of David, and staggered out again to be crucified under a sign, calling him the king of the Jews. He fulfilled every prophecy. The suffering servant saved us all and invites us to take up our own crosses and follow him. There's something freeing about recognizing that the central drama of human history has already been enacted and goodness won. The devil has no greater trick up his sleeve than attempting to kill God He has tried and God died, and then God descended into hell, bound the devil, and God rose again. The devil can't and won't ever actually ultimately win. This Holy Week, let us take some time for silence before the Lord and before the mysteries of this week, the central act of human history. Let us sit quietly and contemplate his love for us and for all human beings so much greater than anything we might give him in return. Let us thank and praise him for our redemption, our salvation, and our sanctification. And let us share his mercy with others through praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet for poor sinners, making the Divine Mercy Novena beginning on Good Friday, and venerating the Divine Mercy image, begging mercy on us and on the whole world. May you have a grace-filled Holy Week and a joyous Easter. God bless you.